Welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod and Channel Maester, original Soulborn, commented on the last video asking me to have a look for some Valyrian 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 steel armor, just in case any had spawned naturally in the game or, or through events or whatever. So I had a look through using both the American spelling and the correct spelling, and I couldn't find either or anything for Valyrian at all, to be honest with you, besides a whole bunch of Valyrian weapons. So instead, I typed in the words Dragon Egg. And I think you can see where this is going. If we go to Danilo, High Priest of Norvos here, and just take a look at his incredibly large book collection, Dragon Egg. Dragons lay large-scaled eggs to reproduce. Over the eons, unhatched eggs can become fossilized. Dragons have no fixed gender differentiation, according to Mastraim, but dragons are now one and now the other, as interchangeable as flame. So, more importantly, <laughs> ignoring all of that, High Priest Danilo has a dragon egg. I would really like that. Because, well, multiple reasons. Number one, it would make conquesting everything a shit ton easier if we had a giant dragon. Uh, number two, it would also help out a lot in that it would bring magic back to the world. Now, some of you really want this character to go immortal. Me as well, funnily enough, because he's an awesome character. And getting this guy to be like an immortal dragon rider would be awesome. Now, unfortunately, while I was doing that, time did tick. And apparently a lot of shit happened off camera. So, we had a daughter that was born. And I, I tried to pause it as soon as this happened because I didn't want to lose any of this stuff. Uh, born on the 20th of July, so five days ago, we had Princess Berta of the Iron Isles there, member of the Ginyu Force. Let's go ahead and give her thrift. Now, unfortunately, she didn't come out with any congenital traits at all, and she's sickly. So, let's not put our hopes on Princess Berta lasting too long. What we do have, however, is uh, some sicknesses, specifically abdominal pain and fever. I didn't want the disease to develop off camera, like I said, because uh, I feel like that would take away from it if I was like, oh, we got rabies and died, by the way. So, let's take a look. Master Selwyn is worried about my newborn daughter, Berta. My newborn daughter, comma. Berta is a feeble thing, even compared to other infants. Selwyn says she might not live to see her first birthday. Selwyn, you must attempt to save Berta. Oh, he failed. Well, we might not see her then. Okay, sure. We, we can also... Wait, took him in prison? Well, we can't really do that. So what do we want to do then? Well, I think it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Why have we got this game for special interest? I don't know. We're heading over to Norvos. We're going to go ahead... We're going to steal this dragon egg. Now, we do have the option to just straight up steal artifact. That's still on cooldown. However, you know, we are Ironborn. We are Gilded Reavers. We are Gilded Kraken. We'll either pay the gold price or the iron price. Stealing a dragon egg, sneaking into his castle and stealing it, doesn't really seem to be either. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves a dragon egg. Start as we mean to go on. All right. Squad up, boys. Now, the issue is that... Oh, dysentery. That's actually really bad. Now, the issue is their army's... Their capital, I should say, isn't on the coast. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. We should be alright then. The capital isn't on the coast. However, we can march all the way through Norvos to the capital. I think it's not it, it's not ideal because we would like to be able to grab whatever he's got and then leave. He's got a load of stuff. Look at this guy. Maybe there's a glitch with him where he's just getting a shit ton of artifacts for no reason. Maybe a focus? You know, why don't we have a look at him a bit closer? I might have missed something about him. Um, no, I mean, he's a bearded priest, which might affect it somewhat. Selfish, trusting, brave, zealous. Maybe it's his religion. I'm not sure. He's got a lot of artifacts for a single character. Now, the reason I say that is that Norvos are, um, are, are a theocracy. They're, they're a monastic. But in the base game, it's a, what, a feudal theocracy or something like that. So I'm not sure whether the artifacts pass down from character to character or whether or not they're destroyed on succession because it's a completely unrelated member of the house taking over. Maybe that's the case. I'm not sure. Either way, he seems to have a lot of artifacts for just a generic NPC there. Member of the Trade League, I got it right, approaches and tells you that he's ready to buy a specific merchandise. Sure. Absolutely. There you go. Um, so we're part of the Alchemist Guild. Sorry, I just could get myself back up to date here. We're, we're part of the Alchemist Guild. Um, we want to learn to make wildfire before we can get to the next stage. We don't want to mess that up. Because last time I did that, we... Uh, if you remember last time, we were part of the Guild, I should say. Oh, what the hell is this? My aunt had a daughter. She's 70. She's 70 years of age. How has this happened? Well, look what the child is. The child's come out infertile and foolish, so... Huh. Let's not worry about that. Yeah, so last time we joined the Alchemist Society, we hired an alchemist, and then he died, and then we were locked out for five years. And then we hired another one, and he disappeared. So I had to go ahead and clear some of the, some of the save games so we could actually do it properly. So let's just try and not get a repeat of that happening. Now, we didn't actually have that many men. I probably want to leave some behind in case we're attacked as well. How many women have we got on the mainland at this stage? Um, 17,000. 10,000 men. What's Norvos looking like in terms of fortification? 
Ooh, shit. Right. In that case, yeah, let's take everyone we've got. That's a lot of men. Winter's coming to an end, and a slave. Nope, sell him. Yeah, we're going to have to take everyone we can get in that case, because unfortunately they are heavily fortified. Let's go ahead and build up some retinues, just as our sort of backup defensive force here, in case we die. And are they on? Yeah, we want half reinforcement there, I'm going to say. All right, squad. Let's go. Are we leading troops? Do we want to lead troops? I have a feeling our marshal wasn't huge, was it? Only 10. Really? Even though we're tall and... Prodigy? Oh, right. Uh, that's something else I did. I completely forgot about. I renamed uh, Brilliant to Prodigy, so that when we want to find characters to marry in the future for our heirs and whatnot, we can just go in here and type Prodigy and not have to worry about, you know, Brilliant Strategist coming up or Brilliant... Uh, Whatever they're called. Brilliant Stewards, I think they were called. I've renamed that to Excellent Steward as well, just because I was trying to find ways around it. So now, when we type in Prodigy, obviously we're only going to bring up people that we actually want to find, rather than having to sift through sort of a sublist. Anyway, you guys can stay there. I don't care about 600 men. 27,000 Angry Ironborn here for the Dragon Egg. Let's go land them here quickly so we can turn into Raiders. Get our best commanders. Uh, we'll get Baylor. We'll get Graydon. And we'll get Dalton. Awesome. I really hope we can steal this from raiding. I don't I don't necessarily want to do the whole breaking and entering type of thing. Saying that, with our stats, though, it should be a fairly balanced event. And if we're going to do that, we want to lose dysentery first. We obviously don't want to go into his castle, you know, dying. Uh, the highly prosperous economy. She wants some gold. Sure, there you go. Why not? After listening to the advice of my bannerman, led by Lord Sigrin Calavesi of Canet, I hereby relinquish my position of Lord Reaver of Riverrun. Favor of Sir Benefer Hightower. Sure, whatever. That's fine by me. Okay, Norvos. If only your coast... Uh, if only your capital, I should say, could be a bit more coastal. This wouldn't be so difficult. Okay. We're willing to offer you the secrets of learning wildfire. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Perfect. Alright. Do we still have a alchemist in our court? I did give him a minor title, didn't I? Just to try and get him to stick around. It looks like he's got... No, there he is. Master of the Blade. Um, learn to make wildfire. He's away. So he must be learning from a wisdom or something. Let's mark him a special interest. Then when he gets back, we'll learn the wildfire. And we should be able to level up pretty quickly. Castle of the Widow's Tower. Let's get rid of that. No, thank you. Alright, how long is it going to take to siege this place down realistically? We're already taking attrition damage. Let's get a fort built. Just to mitigate some of it. Um, we lost dysentery. Awesome. So we can go and steal this if we need to. 3.1%. Okay, sure. We had a daughter called Mega. Mega Whore. You know, there were better names to give her than Mega Whore. <laughs> sure, she's a genius. Okay, right, but two brilliant parents. She came out genius. That's to be expected. That's actually worse than I would have hoped. Homely face, so she inherited her looks from her dad there. And we will, of course, train her in thrift. She's actually a pretty good character, despite having all of this wrong with her. There we go. Mega Whore. Holy shit. What a name. Uh, do you want to buy my crate of ivory? Sure. We, we should be granting these to my... My trade master, I will admit, but uh, for now we can actually funnel that funds into building up our retinues instead. Shit, this is going to be close, you know. This is a dangerous siege. Problem is, it's taking so long that our troops are just trying to dying to uh, random siege events here. We're gonna turn that down. That's really loud. What do you say, a loud game? Right, let's turn the effects down a little bit. There we go. All right. The world is a dangerous place and devious plots are... People are conspiring to kill me. Why me? I thought everyone loved me. Um, okay, let's just double check people do actually love me. Lord Reaver of Great Wick does not love me. Let's give him... You are now my designated regent. You may have some gold as well, my good friend. Chris Council Power. You can have some gold. Uh, that won't improve his relation. You can have some gold. You know what? Everybody gets some gold. This is a good side too, I suppose, keeping all of those trade goods so that we can sell them for a decent... Decent, uh, decent balance. Now, the mod maker said that the amount you sell them is based on your monthly income, but because our monthly income is so ridiculously high, we're getting a good return on investment there. So, you could meta game that, I suppose. Buy a shitload of trade goods at their regular value, leave the society, and then if your monthly balance is high enough, maybe sell them at a profit. Guaranteed. That seems a bit of a lot, that, that seems a lot of work. <laughs> Seeing as you could probably make more profit by actually, you know, doing the things you're supposed to do in the the, the trade league. Uh, do we want to burn down the trade post in Castle Rock? Absolutely. Oh, I thwarted the destruction of it. Damn. Berta Whore did die a sickly infant. Now playing as Mega Whore. 
the genius, the homely genius that is Mega Whore. That's fine by me. She would be a good character, assuming we can... Uh, we are just primogeniture, aren't we? Yep, Ragnetic, Cognetic, Primogeniture. So we can play as her without having to worry about a King's Moot or Vassals being angry at us or anything. Now, I assume they will have a negative opinion. Oh, fuck. <sighs> right. That's a real shame. I thought that was going to happen, but uh, that's fine. We're going to have to sneak in the old-fashioned way. Sir, I'm here for your uh, your dragon egg. Who shall be my accomplice? We'll pretend that the siege was a distraction while me and one of my friends snuck in. Do we want to take Lord Reaver Gilbert, my master at arms, with his ten marshal? Lord Reaver Boulder, my spy master, with his eight intrigue. My friend Stefarian Whore, who's useless, or no one. Who do we want to take? God, they're all terrible. Um... I'm going to take the guy who has the highest dedicated stat in the in his field. So this guy's got 10 marshal. This guy's got 8 entry. We'll stick with Lord Reaver Gilbert. This is going to be dangerous, you know. I, I honestly don't think we'll do this. And it's a real shame that we lost as many troops as we did. What we want to do then is get our marshal. Uh, I was going to say training troops in the capital, but I assume that's exactly what he's doing already. Okay, that's a real shame. Um, why are our troop levels so low? We should have 75,000 there, 4,000 there, 8,000 there, but we've really got nothing at all. Did we just come out of a big war? I'm not sure. You've arrived at High Priest Donello's capital. As expected, it's heavily guarded. Force my way inside. Oh, God, this is looking really bad. 49% chance of success is our best. Yeah, no, we aren't. Statistically, I don't think we're going to win this. Holy shit, we did it. You managed to evade most of the patrols until you come outside the treasury. Rush them before they raise an alarm. 39% chance. Pose as a servant, 25% chance. Or use your knowledge of alchemy to create a noxious gas, 38%. Wow. Risky. Risky. Lord River Cotter Valen here has requested Master Rogan of Pitford should be sworn to him rather than me directly. Should he? Uh, yes, he should. Wait, should he? That's Old Stones. Oh, right, I see. And this guy is the, the Duke of Seaguard. He can, yeah. He can absolutely have that guy because we're only holding Old Stones until it's rebuilt. Shit. Failure, you weren't as crafty as you thought. The guards drew their swords and approached you. 9% um, chance of dying. 43% chance of being in prison. 49% chance of escaping. 59% chance of escaping, but we lose 255 gold. Shit, the best one is... Obviously, we don't want to fight our way out of the bearded priests. These are like gigantic men with axes. Um, hopefully, some money will sway their minds. Oh, we did it. Thank God for that. 20% chance of getting depressed. No depression, because that would have been really bad things. we don't have any kids yet. Wow. Shit, we're actually going to have to siege it down the way God intended. Okay, sure. Let's go ahead and do that then. So let's bring our... We'll take our retinues this time as well, because they'll reinforce as fast as the siege went to kill them. Uh, we'll give our... Of course, we'll give us some more th funds. And You know what I'm going to do? I'll, I'll go ahead and chuck her all of the trade goods as well, because we've got more than enough money. We're making enough profit, I should say, to be able to reinforce our retinues at full strength. So uh, let me go ahead and chuck those at her. So what we found out is that our retinue... Oh, sorry, our levy reinforcement is actually much, much lower than we'd hoped for. So, rather than focusing on stuff that's going to buff up our levy even more, because we don't have the boats for it anyway, why don't we look for things that either give us boats or give us reinforcement rates, seeing as they're going to come in the most handy right now. Uh, just, just while we're still, you know, raiding, trying to conquer different places that are quite far away. We're more or less trapped on the Iron Isles because we can't split that giant army up. So, let's take a look, see what we can find here. Shipyard. Uh, tax income minus one galleys plus ten. That doesn't seem like a good deal to me. Seeing as tax income minus one is significant. Now we can upgrade that ten times as well. Holy shit. This is where the balance for this mod comes in. Is a lot of the uh, a lot of these buildings do cost tax income. And if you're upgrading them ten times, that's gonna stack up a huge amount. Right, let's see then. Um Is that oh right, okay, castle shipyard. Boom, done. Let's go ahead and build those everywhere if we can. Um Castle Shipyard. And Castle Shipyard there. Harren Hall probably can't build a shipyard here. I don't think we can actually go down this uh, the God's Eye Lake here. But we can just double check. I don't think it counts as being on the coast. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. Right, what else have we got then? Old Stones is not coastal. Actually, technically it is. So you see here, there, there's that small blue symbol. Now, it's not really used that much in CK2. What it implies is that boats can cross between that province... Oh, oh, sorry, across those provinces, I should say. So if we look here, we've got uh, one in Old Stones going to this lake here. So you can sail from the Ironman's Bay into the Upper Blue Fork. Similarly, you can sail across the God's Eye to uh, the Trident there as well. So something that they don't really use in base CK2 very much. So let's just double check if Old Stones can actually have... See, the province itself doesn't count as a coastal province. 
just has sort of that river crossing, I suppose, if you want to look at it like that. Castle Rock, however, is definitely... Do we have anything we can build here, then? No, I, I imagine we need Castle Town and things. Again, I don't want to build up Castle Rock too much, because we're going to get rid of that eventually. Uh, Lord Sport is definitely one where we can build some shipyards. Awesome. Right, it's going to give us another 40 or so boats. Hi, King Krellic. Riverblood has died. Rest in peace, Krellic. What's happening here? Where is the capital of the Iron Throne now? Oh, right, they don't actually have a capital, do they? They just have, like, a castle or something? Or ship of... Oh, right. No, they actually do just have Moat Kaelin. Moat Kaelin is the capital? They do have a lot of treasures we probably want to take, but let's, let's focus on the Dragon Egg to start off with. Let's put our fleets down for a while, because that's just costing us a huge amount of gold. Let's put our armies down. No, actually, our armies will reinforce in the capital. Plus, it saves me having to, you know, lasso them all up and grab them back on the boat. So, uh, we'll wait for that. Let's get our... Le oh, I've already done it. Never mind, ignore me. I was going to say, let's get our Red News reinforcing at the, the, the fullest. But a daughter of Bernard Greyshield and Stefarian Horn named Arsa. Gisela, you're 73. Let's not worry about it. 96% chance, and we failed. Despite Acolyte Reynard's best efforts to show you how to safe fly, <laughs> safe fly, make it, and handle the substance. They sound like a brummy. Your attempts to replicate it were disastrous. Your construction of wildfire proved most unstable, and when you made an uncareful slip, the substance spontaneously exploded. 10% chance of burned, 15% chance of wounded, 10% chance of maimed, getting the train severely injured. 5% chance of dying. Wounded. Just wounded. Okay. We just blew off a finger or something. That's fine. Oh, God. 96% chance of success. Thank you. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, if it happened twice in a row, we're officially the unluckiest people to have ever made wildfire. You made sure I understood the voli vo <laughs> volatility. I was going to say volatility. I do understand it. Don't worry, I blew off some of my fingers trying to do it. My rival Dennis Hoare died of cancer. What rivals do we have left? We should probably clear those up. One more. Just rip Hoare. Let's kill him off. 488% plot power. No. No, no, no. He's, he's a kin... That would make us a kin slayer. Let's think about this. Um, oh, for fuck's sake. This guy wants 300 gold. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Instead, let's kidnap him and just execute him quietly where no one will find out. 81% chance of kidnapping is a success. I see. Thank you very much. Yep, yep, yep. We've done it. He dies quietly. 33% chance of getting ruthless. 33% chance of getting cruel. No one discovers it. Boom. Another... What the fuck is going on? Thick? Minus six to everything? With two prodigy parents, you came out thick. And homely as well. My god. I'm going to call her Thick Whore. Alright. Sweet. We've got more than enough boats to carry the men from Pike. Let's merge them. We'll move you guys off just to make this a little bit more streamlined. Whoops. What a fool. Alright, there we go. We've got Baylor, we've got Cotter, and we have Dalton. Let's move them to the sea. Great Pox is broken out in Harrenhal. Shit, get the troops out of there. Pike Pos Pipe. Pike prospers. As the people flock to Pike, so do to the clergy. In fact, so many could arrive that with the donation to get them started, Pike could become a notable centre of worship. Temple tax plus twelve point five percent and some piety as well. Lots of prosperity events. We've had almost all of them here. Let's just take a look. Um Okay, yeah, we've got that one. We've got uh, the Scholars Foundation, the Great Library, the Minority Settlement. We don't have Drilling Grounds, which give you plus 25% levy size or something like that. We also don't have a Glorious Statue, which gives you something like 0.5 monthly prestige. The small folk of Lord Sport have started several delightful traditions. Oh, that's nice. I'll help with that. Oh, no. Lord Reva Gelmar, great song, has discovered the gemstones you gifted him are in fact forgeries. Oh, no, now he dislikes me more. Wait, we gained plus 18 with him, and now he's gained minus 18. Oh, uh, sorry, minus 15, so... That's fine. We gained the Deceitful trait, though. That's awesome. Uh, I'm sorry? Well, at least he's left the faction now, though. Hey, there we go. Awesome. Look at the Crown Loyalist faction. That's really good. Wait. It's 101% of liege. You know what that means? We can go for... Uh, we can go for any sort of war that we want. We can go for invasions, like mass invasions. I remember that now, yeah. So it's been a couple of days since I've played this. We've done it. While well, sacking the bridge, did priest for all it's worth, you and your men have located someone in the castle who owns a Valyrian steel blade. Shall we take it as our own? It is this man with Finger Eater. He has 60 personal combat. We have 170. I shall make it mine. Oh, we're going to sorry, hunt down this guy here. What's he got? Crab's Pincer? Um, Crab's Pincer? Let's not worry about it. I shall make it mine. 
I think this is the event that's causing so many duplicate Valyrian weapons, you know? He'll need more than a fancy sword. One mistake is all they'll get. Strike. It's over now. Come on. Except back on your feet. Yeah, yeah, victory is mine. Is it going to work this time? Finger Eater. I think we actually got it. I think we got doubles. Wait. Oh, no, we got, we, we got Finger Eater. Right. Sorry, my mistake. We are building up a nice collection of Valyrian steel, though, if nothing else. No Dragon Egg. A little bit annoying. Um, he did actually hold that temple, didn't he? City of Norvos, City of the Axe. Temple of... Wait. He has the City of Norvos? Oh, we've got to see down the actual city. Right, here we are. Good. Well, that's what we're doing now. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. 15,000 men versus 17,000 men, and we're taking attrition. Losing the trait proud. Hmm. Do... No, I'm going to say... What is this? Do we want to fire a counsellor? I'm going to decline this because a lot of these people are just courtiers. So who cares about what their opinion is? And I also don't want battle opinion minus 20. So I'm going to decline that if you don't mind. We could have really done with Harren Hoare. Oh, come on. Ugly. What is wrong with these children? <laughs> what is happening here? We, do, we don't accidentally have part of Harren Hoare, do we? Maybe we should just give away Harren Hoare because something is screwing us here. This is really odd. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, have five children. I feel like that's fair. Get someone else leading the siege because I really don't want to die. Damn, that's not going well at all. Okay, let me finish the siege. We'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Take as long as you need. Come on, give me that dragon egg. Let's blow the city up. Such are the fortunes of war. Awesome. Did did that help? That didn't help. No, in fact, quite the opposite happened. That just reinforced completely. So, what I did was, uh, went back and picked up the rest of my, my troops from, from, obviously from the Iron Isles, which would reinforce. This place is really difficult to siege down. Was there anyone else with the dragon egg? I probably should have checked those other people. Um, dragon, egg, such all. Who have we got here? Yorko? Dragon egg? Oh, okay. Hang on. Mega of Brentbrook. Nothing? What about you? Goddess the Thunderbolt. Also has a dragon egg. Where is where is he where are you? Okay, hang on. This guy's in a shy. Okay, sod that. Uh it was this guy, wasn't it? Yorker, Lord of uh, just some random dude. Oh no, he's he's here. We might be able to grab that one much, much easier. What am I doing in Norvos? Okay, let's leave. You know what? Norvos is a lost cause, let's not worry about that. Let's go and head down and see if we can grab one of those other dragon eggs instead. Alright, can we actually sail straight down from here? It was it was this province like here, right? This guy? Yeah, you. Let's mark you a special interest. Uh, we also have the option to try and steal it again because it's been that long since we tried to steal the first one. Wait, the other guy's in our prison. Can we not steal that from him really easily now? Uh, yeah, dragon egg? I think because his stats are so high that it's much, much harder for us to do that. So let's not worry about it. Instead, what we'll do, we will try this guy. Look, I'm getting a dragon egg this episode. It's, it's going to happen. We'll, we'll try this other guy raiding first. If that doesn't work, we will just try and steal it. Period of Interregnum. Where? Kirzai? Oh, Gishkar. Whatever. We had a daughter called... Oh, she's really good. Prodigy, tall, appealing, fruitful. That's really annoying. Okay, sure. We'll try and... She could still be our heir, obviously. We, we are primogen, tragnetic, cognetic. So she would be our best daughter right now. Can't believe Haran came out so badly. Alright, let's take it. Can I have your dragon egg? Release all prisoners. Put his family in the dungeon. I should make it mine. I now wield this for household. What do we take? Sorry? Poison. Another piece of Lurian steel. Look at that. Wow. Poison and morning mace. Do I want a salt wife as well? Uh, we can take a salt wife with grayscale. It's 51. We can take a salt wife with 17. Or we can take a salt wife with 33. Nah, I'm good. No dragon egg. You know what that means. This is mine now. Who will We will follow me. Let's take a look here. My friend will try Lord Reaver Gilbert again. Threaten the vassal. Why not? You're forgiven. Yeah, we'll try and get them out of factions. Right. Again, really low chance of success here. 49% chance of success. Let's try it. No, nope, we've already fucked up. God damn it. Uh, 63% chance of escaping. Run away. <laughs> Run away. Shout out to Todd Howard. Uh, took him in the Ubly app. You failed in your heist. God damn it. Why is getting a dragon egg so hard? Come on. They're just mythical artifacts, I suppose. Well, now that I think about it, that's probably a, probably a good reason why they're so rare. 
Sure, make a fine. Nope, I don't want any top wives. <laughs> I might do. It depends on how much, how old my wife gets before we have a good kid. Obviously, her kid would be incredible. Prodigy and strong and Tyrell. Um, it would be pretty useful to have. God damn it. Okay, where's the other dragon eggs then? Right, let's try again. Dragon, dragon egg. Who have we got? Why is she coming up? Oh, because her name, because her name is Mega, and she has the dance of dragons. Really? Okay. And the other dude was in a shy. Well, let's try a shy then, seeing as everywhere else has failed. That's halfway across the world, though, which is the only downside. Um, travel all the way down here to the Shadowlands. All right, a shy isn't hugely fortified, so this shouldn't be too difficult at all. Let's still get our fort built, because we are taking attrition damage already. Mega is a poor fighter. I really don't care too much about Mega. Should we just assault it? Go for it. Ooh, dangerous. Let's not. Uh, here, have some gold. 600 gold. I owe you a favor. Come on, do it. Trigger me nines. Make the artifact mine. You only more than a fancy sword. Oh god, more Valyrian steel. Strike, die. We've done it. What Valyrian steel did we get? A salt wife? No, I don't want salt wife. We picked up poison. Another one. Kago's folly. Finger eater. Morning mace. Poison. Crab's pincer. Vigilance. No, no, that, that one genuinely didn't work. God damn it. Can we can we just take his artifact? He's in our prison. The Lannisters. Queen Sorelli Lannister has kicked out from the Iron Throne the uh, the Wildlings after all this time. Holy shit. Now that's a problem for us because that means that the Reach and Dawn and all the... Sorry? <laughs> okay. And all of the uh, default Iron Throne vassals are more likely to go back under it now. It also gives us a Cassus Belli on them because she is the, you know, obviously the Queen of the Iron Throne. This could be a new realm of stability, which again is an issue for us because we're a huge target here, holding a lot of the sort of central land. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Good God. Have we got so much money? What is happening? All right, come on. Dragon Egg. Remnants of Dragon Lords. Remnants of fucking Dragon Lords. I don't want the book. I want an actual remnant of a Dragon Lord. You know, like an egg. God damn it. Okay. Now we'll head back to a shy because that was where one of the other eggs are on the boats with you. Uh, yeah, whatever. All right, a shy. I, I assume it's the uh, yeah, it's this guy still. Okay, come on, dragon egg, dragon egg, dragon egg, food poisoning. Well, that's not nearly as bad as the great pox, I suppose. Um, sure, as long as you know what you're doing. Regimental grounds. There we go. Fifteen percent extra levy size. Perfect. That's going to give us a ridiculous amount of men. Reckoning of time. Reckoning of time. Um. <laughs> A son was born to Iron King Harren, an Iron Queen Serena of the Iron Isles named Odd. Odd whore? Seriously? <laughs> Prodigy? Whore bloodline? Tall, prolific, strong, immaculate? His name's Odd In my madness trying to find this dragon egg, I overlooked the one thing that was most important. Family. <laughs> okay, genuinely though, this kid is fucking ridiculous. I mean, okay, it's been a few years since we last saw what was happening. And we've, we had a daughter since then who died. She was also a prodigy. Um, how the fuck did she get immaculate? Neither, neither of us have immaculate, do we? Saying that though, another one of our daughters came out, uh, yeah, Skega came out appealing and... He's like a direct upgrade from Skegger. So prolific rather than fruitful, immaculate rather than appealing. Plus he got strong from his mother as well. Holy shit. Odd whore. What is this? The River King's Crown? Old Stones was once a site of a great castle whose original name has been long since lost. They've even found what must be the royal crown and regalia. What is this? Leave it, only house mud may claim it. Gain 150 party or 50% or chance vulnerable. It's a sign from the drown god. I shall be the river king. Adds a crown of the river kings to the treasury of Iron King Harren the Just. 250 gold, 100 prestige. Gain a strong claim on the kingdom of the trident. Gain the trait ambitious. Hacker voice. I'm in. The Crown of the River Kings. Whoa, let's take a look at that. Where is where is that? Whoa, that's cool. Look at that. Recover from the ruins of old stones. Plus three vassal opinion, plus twenty month of prestige. It's the same for our Driftwood Crown, but it looks 
awesome. And of course, King Harren was in the, the Riverlands, you know? He was part of the Trident. That's where he ruled from. Let's get rid of this Driftwood Crown of Pike and go for the Crown of the River Kings instead. Is it going to update? I'd like to see it on our on our character, you know? Um, maybe we'll have to load in the game or give him a haircut or something. Just something to try and update the portrait. Nah. Okay, well, hopefully by next time it will have uh, switched that. The only way this can get better now. We've got the Great Heir. We've got an awesome crown. A claim on an entire kingdom. We need the Dragon Egg. I imagine because... Oh, God. What? Sweetly, gently, we molded our bodies together and recreated a familiar feeling of us embracing. We're not that old. 20% chance of the passion overwhelmed my character's heart and he dies? He's not that old. We're good. <laughs> what on earth? He's 43. And he's strong. Right? He's Oh, he's at least tall and prolific. A skilled fighter? He's like a healthy man. Good lord. Alright, fair enough. Silver bracelets we grabbed. Climb him in irons. Leave the rest here. The dragon has got to wait till next episode. But look, we got an awesome crown. We got an awesome claim. We got an awesome heir. And I don't care about Harren Hall. We at least achieved something, even if it was not the dragon egg. You know? I'm going to have to write it this down because it's been a really long episode for me. Hopefully you won't know in the video. But uh, next time, I promise, the dragon egg is going to happen. Even if I have to super cut five hours worth of content together, we're going to grab it.